Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on the MI Gardener channel. I am so excited to be filming this one for you today because we have been getting email after email about the fruit trees and how they fared uh, the frost long term. Uh, are they going to fruit? How are they doing? So many questions. So uh, it's an amazing day. Sun is out. It is about 75 degrees. Absolutely glorious today. So uh, I think Cindy and I are going to be playing some, some badminton later today. We picked up that sport and loving it. So uh, it's just a good day. So I wanted to come outside, uh, do an update on the fruit trees and bushes and everything like that. So uh, let's go, let's go do that. So this is the Alberta peach. This is uh, our smallest peach tree of the three, but a beautiful shape nonetheless. Got a gorgeous goblet shape, ready to hold lots of fruit. And uh, we have here some peaches. Check it out. Look at that beautiful peach forming there. Another one forming there. I just got done watering the trees. In fact, uh, just over there, as we get around to the apple trees, I've got those uh, just, they're being watered as we speak. So they get about five gallons a day uh, right now. Well, it's really dry and really hot. Normally it's about two gallons a day, but um, I gotta compensate for how dry it's been. But you can see, look at the fruit production so far. They look incredible. I mean, absolutely beautiful. There's another peach there, another peach there, and uh, peaches all up and down this thing. Growth looks great. It's thickening up. The caliper has go uh, gone up. The diameter of the tree has gone up by about, I'd say, 10% from where we bought it uh, to where it is now, so it's doing awesome. Uh, now, the next one this is the Red Haven. This is our favorite peach variety of all time, and stunning look at how many peaches are on this tree. Holy smokes. We are going to have a bumper crop of peaches. And as you can see, the cold spring weather had nothing on this. The trash bag bubble wrap method worked. And if you haven't yet seen that episode, check it out. It is awesome. So yeah, just loaded down with peaches. It's growing. It's grown by probably about, oh goodness, four or five inches since we planted it. The caliper has exploded. This one has grown about 25% since we planted it, just that's a huge tree trunk there. So that is, that's really looking nice. This is gonna provide some real good fruit uh, production. So loving this. I won't prune it yet this year, uh, but the next year once it's dormant, we're gonna come through here and prune it up, shape it up a little bit. So it's gonna go through some, through some drastic changes, but it's gonna need it because it's a little bit, uh, little bit tall. Same thing with this one over here. So this tree is also a Red Haven peach but it's quite tall, it's uh, quite tall in fact, uh, a little taller than I'd prefer, but it has almost no, no branches down here. So uh, we take what we can get here. I'm just going to end up probably pruning it up here and uh, capping its height at right around six and a half, seven feet tall. Um, it's going to get no taller than around eight feet because it's a semi-dwarf. So, I mean, it's not gonna get much taller, but I want to kind of, get some lower lateral growth going. And the only way that I can do that is to kind of say, hey, you've gone far enough, time to go a different way. So, uh, but this tree also is putting on lots of beautiful peaches, lots of littler peaches coming on, stunning fruit and uh, beautiful, healthy tree. So really loving this. The caliper is about 10% bigger than when we bought it. Um, so just, uh, just around an inch in, in diameter. Uh, that peach tree over there, is right around two inches in diameter. So really incredible on that on that peach tree. That's just exploded in growth. Uh, and then over here, this is our cherry. So our cherry is doing so well. I am really, really proud of this thing. This thing is just growing like a champ. In fact, we actually have a few cherries that did survive. The frost took a, a toll on this one a little harder than, than I thought it did. But um, nonetheless, we have uh, some cherries coming in here. There's one one uh, back there, and so it's doing really well. Uh, doing really well, in fact. There's another little cherry on the end of that stem there. So uh, yeah, doing awesome, and um, really pleased with the growth on this. It's just bushing out and, uh, and growing very well. So let's go check out the apples and pears now. On our way through, I thought I'd stop and check out the columnar apples. A lot of you have been asking how they've been doing in our containers, and good is the answer. They are doing wonderfully, obviously putting out lots of foliage, but won't be putting out a whole lot of lateral growth because of uh, you know the fact that they are a columnar apple, but over here, you'll see we have some 
nice apple production. So these are some beautiful apples, first little fruits of the year. And those are the only ones we're going to get because there's no other fruit on this, but it's doing real well. So I just lock the hose and just kind of set it there. There we go. And that'll water itself. That way I can do other things while the trees are getting watered. And uh, wow, doing wonderfully. This is the Bosque pear. Bosque pear is doing just incredibly. Um, I think this is the Bosque, unless it's the D'Anjou. Yep, oh, gosh, I always get that mixed up. So that is the Bosque. This is the D'Anjou. The D'Anjou doing wonderfully, really leafing out, growing well. Caliper hasn't grown a whole ton since we bought it, but that's okay. It doesn't have any fruit on it, so it's not really going to go through any stress or anything with the fact that it hasn't grown a whole lot. It's focusing more on leaf production, and that's cool. It'll, it'll put energy down uh, definitely throughout the season anyway. So uh, real happy with this one. Now this, this is the uh, Bosque pear, and this one is doing even better. Now this one we trimmed up, we pruned this growth point here to stop its growth and help it grow more lateral growth. We also took off a lot of these growth points here. If you saw that, that pruning video, and you can see there we've pruned, pruned all, all those off, and it is much, much appreciative of that. So uh, it's now sending energy down, performing way more lateral growth, really getting these lower branches growing out. And this one is doing very, very well. No fruit on this one either. Uh, this one did not have any flowers on it. I was real shocked though, especially because the caliper is almost two inches in diameter. So real nice, real nice caliper size on that. This one's grown about 15, 20% since we bought it. And then here's a summer crisp apple. And yes, I know I have to mow this. We had our, we had our patio set, which is up there now down here. So all the grass was growing. So I've got it, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> so this is our uh, summer crisp apple and uh, it's gonna put on some apples it looks like. We got just a few apples coming on here. We did have an accident here uh, where a branch snapped off uh, here, here, and here because this little thing caught some wind and fell over and actually sideswiped this tree and knocked off three of the branches. Uh, but it's doing well still, uh, you know, even with all that happening. Um, so we are kind of considering uh, semi pruning some of these to encourage some more, more lateral growth out this way. Cause right now it looks almost like a, uh, it looks almost like one of those uh, Espelier apple trees, but not really intending on it. It's very, very two dimensional. <laughs> it's very two dimensional as it is. So. Um, so we're going to maybe kind of prune this up a little bit and, and fix that up. Um, but then over here, this is, uh, the, this is the, the Fuji, and the Fuji is doing exceptionally well as well. Uh, we're going to definitely have some apple production. Apples are coming on. They, uh, really, they really flowered out nicely here. So um, this tree is uh, just doing wonderfully, growing well. Caliper hasn't grown a whole lot. The trunk really has not grown a ton, uh, but that's okay. And, and it's doing, doing real well. So uh, this one survived the frost and, and is going to be putting on some fruit this year. We'll have quite a few apples, it looks like. So there you go. There's an update on the fruit trees. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. And as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. See ya. Bye.